Software engineering has come a long way since the early days of programming, and with the rise of large language models, the field is poised for even greater transformation. To stay ahead of the trend and not get left behind, you have to keep learning. Unless you've been living under a rock, you probably heard about chatbots like ChatGBT, Bing, Bard AI, and so on. From helping you automate tedious tasks to providing full-blown functional code, it's hard to deny just how useful these models are in the software engineering space. But the one thing that remains in question is if these large language models will fully replace developers for good. The short answer to that is no, at least not in the way you may be thinking. In this video, we will explore how large language models like ChatGPT will fundamentally change the way we approach software engineering, and why you need to stay up to date with the latest developments in software engineering and not get left behind in this rapidly evolving field. Number one, large language models will revolutionize documentation in software engineering. This will be done in many ways, but one of the most predominant is through natural language generation which ultimately is the process of breaking down very complex and technical topics in a human text-like way. This is done to make code more understandable and clear to non-technical stakeholders. Another way is through automated documentation. This is when a model is able to extract information from code and generate documentation based on that information. It's not perfect by any means, but most of the time, it's better than whatever you and I can create. Large language models also have the ability to help with code commenting by generating comments based on the code's functionality. And my personal favorite, it can update code to match the documentation changes. Because if I'm being honest, my code and documentation are like Democrats and Republicans sometimes, never on the same page. Number two, large language models like ChatGPT allow you to build more prototypes. An example of this would be a project management tool that allows users to create and manage projects, assign tasks, and track progress. Why is this so important? Because prototyping is an excellent way of testing and validating the feasibility of all your ideas. And most importantly, it ties directly into the MVP ideology. For those that don't know, MVP stands for Minimum Viable Product. This is the mentality you want to have when working on prototypes. The last thing you want to do is invest all these years working on a product just to find out that the demand or interest for this product is not there in the slightest. Whether it's a set of loose instructions or you have detailed diagrams, the chatbot is able to understand the requirements and create a preliminary design for the software prototype. It even has the ability to implement the design in multiple languages and frameworks and test it as well. Once the prototype is tested, the model is able to redefine the prototype and ultimately get you closer to the finished product. In my opinion, what makes these large language models so amazing is the fact that I can completely toss this prototype out the window and move on to another one without any major setbacks. Before and this entire process could take me days, weeks, months, or even years. So if I just threw the project out, it would be an entire waste of time and resources. But with these models, we have the ability to write thousands of lines of code in no time and just close the tab if we didn't think it was worth it. That, my friends, is revolutionary. Number three, large language models give us the ability to build tools faster and more efficiently. Instead of the two to three days it would take you to create a tool, like a tool that can execute SQL commands, or a tool that can help you format JSON files, for example, factoring in meetings, code reviews, and interruptions, the entire process can now take you an hour, which is huge, especially when you're dealing with management that does not care or see the need for the tool in the first place. Every second counts. And the fact of the matter is that these large language models allow us to work at two or three times the speed. Number four, large language models will significantly change the way we conduct continuous code reviews. It can already give feedback on security issues, edge cases, documentation, while also identifying potential issues earlier on in the code review process, leading to faster code review cycles and improved code quality. These models also have the ability to generate natural language summaries of code changes, making it easier for non-technical technical stakeholders to understand the impact and repercussions of code changes. Lastly, these models have the ability to give you real-time feedback on code changes, allowing you to identify errors and find solutions as they arise. Now, this is all still a work in progress, but the large language models do a good enough job at catching mistakes, which ultimately makes it worth it. Number five, large language models greatly reduce cognitive exhaustion. This is done by automating certain tasks that would otherwise require a significant amount of mental effort from developers. An example of this would be to automate documentation, code reviews, and testing. 
ultimately reducing the cognitive load on developers and freeing up time to focus on personal projects or other important tasks. Besides that, large language models improve communication among team members by providing real-time translation services, natural language summaries of complex technical concepts, and other forms of assistance, which is a formal way of saying it can decipher the nonsense that your colleague wrote, which he can't even explain to you. And lastly, number six, large language models greatly improve the testing landscape. There are several ways in which this is done, but the first one I will mention is test case generation, which is exactly as it sounds. The model's ability to create different test cases by analyzing the code and identifying possible scenarios that can lead to errors. Another way is through test data generation by identifying input values that could lead to different code paths, leading to better code coverage and more effective testing. Besides this, large language models have the capability to execute tests and report the results, which ultimately reduces the chance of human error. By now, I hope you can start to see how large language models have the potential to revolutionize the software engineering industry. They truly do give us the ability to create more sophisticated and intelligent software in half the time. There are still many challenges to overcome as we continue to develop and refine these models, but with each passing day, we are seeing more and more evidence that they are capable of achieving truly remarkable things. So whether you're a seasoned software engineer or you just wrote your first Hello World, there has never been a better time to start exploring the possibilities of these large language models. If you want to learn the inner workings of ChatGPT and other large language models, check out this bite-sized course by Kale, a professional conversational AI engineer. Link in the top right hand corner and in the description down below. If you found this video helpful, we would love if you hit that like button to show your support. Think I missed something? Have any questions? Let me know in the comments below. Until next time peeps and happy chatting.